Hi, this is Raj Sharma. So let's have a look at how we created Dear Diary. When Nikon reached out to me in regards to creating some content themed gems of your country, I had so many ideas coming to mind from places I could travel to things I could film on the story I could create. Yet the version of Dear Diary we have right now is a compromised version according to the situation we've been stuck in. Having ideas are great, but executing it on zero budget could be a challenge at times. We filmed the entire video on Nikon Z6 paired with Zhiyun's Webill S on lock profile. The way we could make this possible is by utilizing Atomos Ninja 5. By utilizing Ninja 5, I was able to use my Nikon Z6 to film in ProRes. The most challenging scene that I have filmed on Dear Diary would be the beach scene because you need to make sure that your gear is protected, no sand or salty water is going through. You need to also make sure that the shots you have actually planned, you are getting it. And most of all, making sure the lighting is right. Now, when it comes to camera movements, Z meets Z is definitely a great thing, meaning the Nikon Z6 meeting the Zhiyun's Webill S. Now, this is a great package because it's compact, it's lightweight, and the compatibility between the Nikon Z6 and the Webill S has a lot of features in there. Zhiyun's Webill S didn't only allow me to capture some nice steady shots, but also helped me during those windy scenarios where I couldn't even hold my camera. Every scene apart from the forest scene has been filmed in Apple's ProRes RAW, and the forest scene has been filmed in ProRes HQ. For the forest scene, that would have been probably my second time or third time using the Nikon Z6 system. So it was still quite new to me and I was still learning how the entire system works. The first time I used the Nikon Z6 was in Guilin, China. And that was quite an amazing experience to be able to capture those, um, the tradition, the lights and the mood all around that I found in Guilin. So most of the time I would be using Nikon Z6 autofocus or manual focus and adjusting your focus based on the distance between your camera and your actor and the pace of movement. A special thanks to Alvin Wong who actually introduced me to this opportunity, Marcel and Michael who assisted with behind the scenes and Regina who was the model of this video. Some of the advantages of using a gimbal is the ability to get some nice smooth shots but also having those camera movements that you require. May it be pan follow, full follow mode, lock mode or so on. The horse scene was quite exciting to film. Um, we approached the stables and see if we could film there and luckily they said yes. So we packed up and arrived at the stables. It was a very nice day and we were very lucky to have the sun at the right place at the right time. It wasn't exciting time filming it, yet it does get challenging, especially if you're working with animals and pets which are not trained for filming. Post-production was quite interesting. So I have never used Apple's Final Cut Pro before. And especially when we were filming ProRes RAW, at that time, there was no other options but to use Final Cut Pro to be able to edit ProRes RAW footages. I must say that I ended up learning Final Cut Pro very, very quickly um, through online tutorials 
as I was under pressure to be able to complete this project and to also make it as beautiful as I can with the footages I had available. I ended up editing the entire footage on Final Cut and then exported and imported into DaVinci Resolve where I done all my sound balancing and sound design. All the sound effects and the music came from Artlist and it was great to be able to find everything in one library. Sound design, audio balancing and titles were done in DaVinci Resolve which I exported and imported back to Final Cut Pro and the color grading was done in Final Cut. I used Red Giant Suite where I was able to utilize their film looks and uh, to be able to put 35mm film LUTs and customize it to your looks that you require is quite amazing. In post we ended up adding film grain to be able to give the look that I desired. How can we make a video better if it just has music and footages? One late night while looking at the footages I decided that maybe it's a great idea to put a voiceover onto it. With a simple post on Facebook I was able to call out to poetic writers and I had a lot of inboxes in regards to what people could do. I was very lucky to be able to get in contact with a lady named Anna from Melbourne, Australia and uh, she was amazing because she was able to write something overnight record a voice and send it to me and then i actually sent off to angela who actually recorded the voice now after adding the voice i ended up changing the music as well so this does happen a lot of times you would go with the music film with the same pace and then at the end of it you know especially when there's something not planned and especially if you're doing things on ad hoc basis and especially if there's a pandemic. The best part about Diodara was to be able to see the package I was using, what it could do. So having the Nikon Z6 package with the Zhiyun's WeBuild S system and the Atomos Ninja 5 is just incredible because it unleashes the potential to be able to shoot in ProRes RAW is such a great advantage, but then to be able to also have that motion that you require utilizing a gimbal um, to be able to see great content directly onto a high bright monitor, um, it actually makes it really, really easy to film. Overall, I love this setup and I have really enjoyed using the Nikon Z6 camera to film this. It's quite exciting that how you can utilize a hybrid camera to create such great content. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe and leave your comments on what you think about it and how do you utilize your Nikon Z6 system. Put a note down, I'd love to hear from you and we look forward to sharing more work with you very soon.